Building, oh, sorry. This is the February 19th meeting of the Planning Board. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, members of the Planning Board. The Planning Department would like to recommend the following items be recessed because the applicants are not ready to be heard at this time. Under zoning petitions, number one, 2012-04, Storbrook Homes, Wisconsin. Number two, 2012-02, Carlson Associates, Kings Park. Number three, 2010-06, KBC Holdings. And under waiver requests, number four, 773, Scholar States and Comac. Well, seeing that there isn't anyone here in the audience, um, I move that we recess items of one through four as read. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The first item is an extension of preliminary subdivision approval for number 1169, Core Land Division in Kings Park. The applicant requests an extension of preliminary approval for the subdivision number 1169, Map of Core Land Division. The subdivision number 1169, Map of Core Land Division, received conditional preliminary approval from the Planning Board on February 6, 2019. The conditional preliminary approval expired on February 6, 2020. <clears throat> the applicant submitted a request for a sec second extension on February 5, 2020. The Planning Department has no objection to the request and recommends a six-month extension. <clears throat> the Planning Department offers the following resolution for the Board's consideration. Planning Board Resolution Number Blank 2020, Extension of Preliminary Approval for Number 1169, Map of Core Land Division. Whereas the Planning Board has considered the request of Thomas Birch and Patty Birch to extend the conditional preliminary approval for Number 1169, Map of Core Land Division for a period of six months. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the Planning Board hereby grants a six month extension of the conditional preliminary approval. For the subdivision number 1169, Map of Core Land Division, beginning February 6, 2020 to August 6, 2020. Good evening, Donald King, 75 East Main Street, Kings Park, New York, and I join in the application. And the affidavit's in, correct? Yeah. And uh, anyone here like to be heard in this matter? Anyone on the board have any questions? Mr. King, the reason for the extension? So messing with the map. With the surveyor. <clears throat> okay. um, in the matter of number 1169, map of Coral Land Division, I move that we close the public hearing. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Opposed? No? The hearing is closed. And in the matter of number 1169, map of Coral Land Division, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the Planning Department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion adopted. The next yes. item is an extension of a performance bond uh, for number 1136, Hummingbird Estates in St. James. The applicant requests a retroactive extension of the performance bond period of the performance bond for the subdivision known as number 1136, Map of Hummingbird Estates. The subdivision number 1136, Map of Hummingbird Estates was granted conditional final approval by the Planning Board on November 2nd, 2011. A performance bond estimate of $7,100 was approved by the Planning Board, subsequently signed by the Chairman. The Town Board accepted the performance bond on April 9th, 2013. The most recent performance period of the performance bond expired on April 9th, 2019. The applicant filed for an extension on January 10th, 2020, and is indicated that the project is not complete. The Engineering Department and Highway Department have no objection to the request. The Traffic Safety Department has provided no comments. The Planning Department has no objection to the request. The Planning Department offers the following resolution for the Board's consideration. Planning Board number blank 2020, extension of performance period of the performance bond for number 1136, map of hum Hummingbird Estates. Whereas the Planning Board has considered the request of James Fox to retroactively extend the performance period of the performance bond for number 1136, map of Hummingbird Estates for a period of two years. 
Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the planning board hereby approves a retroactive extension of the performance period of the performance bond for the subdivision number 1136, map of Hummingbird Estates, for a period of two years to expire on April 9th, 2021. Donald King, 75 East Main Street, Kings Park, New York. I join in the application. Mm -hmm. Anyone here who would like to be heard on this matter? Any questions from many members of the board? Okay, hearing none. In the matter of number 1136, map of Hummingbird, it states, I move that we close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. The hearing is closed. And in the matter of number 1136, map of Hummingbird, Bird states, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion adopted. Thank you very much. The next item is a final subdivision for number 1156, map of Boca Meadow. Um, there's three copies of the, the plans for you guys there. Um, the applicant requests final approval to subdivide a two-acre parcel into two single-family lots. The final map of number 1156, map of Boca Meadow, is comprised of one tax lot that is roughly rectangular in shape. There is an existing dwelling to remain on lot two, and a new dwelling is proposed on lot one. The site has approximately 182 feet of frontage on Sunka Meadow Road. The site is zoned R43 and is surrounded by R43 zoning and single family dwellings. The site contains steep slopes on the east side of the property, property located on lot two. The proposal does not appear to disturb any of the steep slopes. The site does not contain any high groundwater or natural surface water features. The applicant received the following variances from the Board of Zoning Appeals on October 8, 2019. Lot 1, reduce minimum lot frontage from 150 feet to 68 feet, reduce minimum side yard from 24 feet to 12 feet, and reduce total side yards from 60 feet to 36 feet. And on Lot 2, reduce minimum lot area from 43,560 square feet to 35,095 square feet due to environmentally sensitive land. Reduce minimum lot frontage from 150 feet to 77 feet. Reduce minimum side yard from 24 feet to 12 feet. And reduce total side yard from 60 feet to 35 feet. The board granted these variances with a condition that the applicant shall plant and maintain type 2 plantings along the west property boundary as depicted on the subdivision map submitted on July 3rd, 2019. Section 248.24 of the subdivision regulation states that each subdivision is required to show a park area of at least two acres per 100 buildings. However, the Court of Appeals has ruled that the town cannot require the reservation of park area unless the planning board determines on a case-by-case -case basis that the need for a park land exists with respect to the individual subdivision. Based on the community facility study and the town's comprehensive plan, there is a need for park land in the neighborhood in which this subdivision is situated. The subdivision share of meeting the need is approximately 0.006 acres. In cases where the planning board determines that a suitable park cannot be located or is otherwise not practical, the subdivider is required to pay cash equivalent prior to filing the map. Given the location and small size of the subdivision, a dedication for park space would not be practical. Therefore, the planning department recommends that the board condition final plat approval upon the submission of a park fee of $2,190 the approximate value of 0 0.006 acres in the R43 zoning district. The planning department recommends the board waive the requirement of installing sidewalks within the subdivision for the following reasons. One, this portion of Sunken Meadow Road has been identified by the planning department as a road that does not necessitate sidewalks. Two, there are no sidewalks along Sunken Meadow Road, most likely due to the topography and the planning department does not anticipate sidewalks will be installed in this area. <coughs> the Highway Engineering and Traffic Safety Department have reviewed the final subdivision and have found it acceptable. The Department of Environment and Waterways has reviewed the tree preservation and land clearing plan and finds it acceptable. They recommend the Planning Board adopt a secret negative declaration as well as several conditions of approval. The Planning Department has reviewed the final submission, the final subdivision, and has found it acceptable subject to the following comments. One, the west side yard on lot one should be no less than 24 feet. Two, in order to provide separation and privacy to the existing dwelling on lot two, the dwelling on lot one should be set back from the front yard property line no less than 96 feet. 
Three, the existing one-story wood frame log house and existing one-story frame garage on lot one should be removed before, I built, before building permits are issued for the proposed dwelling on lot one. Four, the existing septic system on lot one should be abandoned before building permits are issued for the proposed dwelling on lot one. Five, any approvals granted for the subdivision application is not an endorsement or approval for the proposed 18 foot by 20 foot garage on lot two. Additional information. One, letters assuring availability of utility service have been received from the Suffolk County Water Authority and psc and Two, the Kings Park School District has acknowledged the subdivision. Three, the amount of the inspection fee is estimated at $1,080. The amount of the park fee is $2,190. Five, the amount of the performance bond is estimated at $13,495. The amount of the cash deposit is $1,000. And seven, the amount of the performance bond to be posted is $12,495. recommendation the planning department the department of environment and waterways offers the following resolution for the board's consideration planning board resolution number blank 2020 recommended secret declaration for a number 1156 map of open meadow whereas the planning board has considered the secret recommendation from the department of environment and waterways for a number 1156 map of open meadow and has indicated that any potential adverse environmental impact associated with said parcel does not rise to the level of significance which would require the preparation of an environmental impact statement. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the planning board hereby declares itself lead agency on this matter and finds that this matter is subject to the State Environmental Quality Review Act and is classified as an unlisted action pursuant to CECRA. Second resolve that the planning board, <clears throat> after due study and deliberation of the subject record, issue a CECRA negative declaration, determination of non-significance, an EIS is not necessary in the matter of the application for subdivision approval Approval by Hala Caridley for number 1156, a map of open meadow for the following reasons. A, the proposal does not appear to significantly threaten any unique or highly valuable environmental or cultural resources as identified in or regulated by the Environmental Conservation Law of the State of New York or Smithtown Town Code. B, the proposed project does not involve the disturbance of any lands that contain poor soil properties, high groundwater, or unmanageable slopes. C, the small size and nature of the proposal mitigate against a significant adverse impact upon the environment. D, the proposal appears to be consistent with the planned use of the parcel and compatible with neighboring land uses. E, the, pro the project as proposed on the tr tree preservation and land clearing plan prepared by John Minto, licensed land surveyor and dated May 24, 2019, provides for the retention of a si significant amount of existing trees and natural vegetation upon development of the subject parcel such preservation shall be ensured by the placement of snow fencing or orange mesh construction fencing along all limits of clearing and around any individual trees to be preserved within the clearing areas. This shall be done to the satisfaction of the Environmental Protection Director. Said fencing shall be maintained in place by the applicant until the completion of all land clearing and grading activities at the subject parcel. Additionally, the proposed screen plantings shall be a supplement to the existing trees and not a replacement of them. Planning Department offers the following resolution for the board's consideration. Planning Board Resolution Number Blank 2020, Subdivision and Final Approval for Number 1156, Map of Open Meadow. Whereas the Planning Board has considered the request of Hollow Caridley to subdivide a two acre parcel into two lots. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the final plat of Number 1156, Map of Open Meadow, is hereby approved subject to the following conditions A. Posting of a performance bond in the form and an amount specified by a separate resolution of the planning board and for a term of two years, B, posting of a general liability insurance policy to run concurrently with a term of the performance bond and in accordance with other provisions of section 248 of the, town, of the code of the town of Smithtown, C, payment of an inspection fee and cash deposit as established by separate resolution of the planning board, D, all necessary dedication papers shall be submitted by the applicant to the planning department in complete and accurate form as one package, including but not limited to the performance bond, the liability insurance policy, title report, and all required fees. E, the final plat shall include all information required by section 248.15 and 248.16 of the town subdivision regulations, the conditions of approval and the office of the Suffolk County Clerk. A check print of the final plat shall be submitted to the planning department for a review before the milers are prepared. F, payment of a park fee of $2,190. 
G, final approval of the drainage and regrading plans to the satisfaction of the town engineer. H, the west side yard on lot one shall be no less than 24 feet. I, the proposed dwelling on lot one shall be set back from the front yard property line no less than 196 feet. J, the existing one-story wood frame lock house and existing one-story frame garage on lot one shall be removed before building permits are issued for the proposed dwelling on lot one. K, the existing septic system on lot one shall be abandoned before building permits are issued for the proposed dwelling on lot one. L, building envelopes shall be depicted on the final map. M, approval of this subdivision is not an endorsement or approval for the proposed 18 foot by 20 foot garage on lot two. And prior to the commencement of construction activities at the subject parcel, including land clearing or other site preparation work, the applicant shall abide by the following conditions. One, all limits of clearing and any individual any individual trees to be preserved within the clearing areas must be marked uh, with snow fencing or orange mesh construction fencing. Said fencing shall be located no closer to the trunk of any tree to be preserved than the drip line of said tree. This area to be preserved shall be as indicated on the tree preservation and land clearing plan prepared by John Minto, licensed land surveyor, dated May 24th, 2019. Two, upon completion of the installation of fencing as required above, the applicant shall provide written notice to the Department of Environment and Waterways requesting inspection of the limits of clearing as marked in the field by sighted fencing. Three, the applicant shall not, not commence um, did I do that one? No. Three, the applicant shall not commence construction activities, including land clearing or other site prep preparation work until the marked limits of clearing are approved in writing by the Environmental Protection Director. Four, the snow fencing or orange mesh construction fencing used to delineate the limits of clearing shall be maintained in place by the applicant until the completion of all land clearing and grading activities at the subject parcel. And five, the proposed screen planting shall be a supplement to the existing trees and not a replacement. O, the table of modification shall be changed and added to the filed map as follows and below is the table of modifications um, for variances granted by the Board of Zoning Appeals. Second resolve that the chairman of the planning board is hereby authorized to sign the final plat, hereby approving said plat after the town board has accepted a performance bond of satisfactory form and amount. Third resolve that the conditional final approval of said plat shall expire 180 days after the date of this resolution and within 62 days after the chairman of the planning board signs the final maps of this plat, unless said plat shall have been duly filed or recorded by the owner and the Suffolk County Clerk. Planning board resolution number blank 2020, authorization to sign performance bond estimate for number 1156 map of Open Meadow, whereas the town departments of engineering, traffic safety, highway, and planning have prepared a performance bond estimate to cover the cost of all required public improvements. Now, therefore, be it first resolved that the chairman of the planning board is authorized to sign the performance bond estimate for number 1156, map of open meadow in the amount of $13,495 and establish an inspection fee of $1,080 and a cash deposit of $1,000. Therefore, the amount of the performance bond to be posted with the town shall be $12,495. Thanks, Matt. Madam Chair, members of the board, my name is Vincent Tremarco. I represent the applicant I've submitted the affidavit of posting uh, to Mr. Collado. Um, uh, our recommendation would be the same as the planning departments uh, for approval, and we ask the board for favorable consideration of this final map. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have any questions? Any member of the uh, board have any questions? On the matter of number 1156, map of open meadow, I move that we close the public hearing. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None? The hearing is closed. And on the SEGRA, in the matter of number 1156, map of open meadow, I move that we adopt the SEGRA negative declaration as recommended by the planning department. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None? Motion adopted. And on the final approval in the matter of the uh, final approval for number 1156 map of open meadow, I move that we adopt the resolution as read in accordance with the recommendation of the planning department. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion adopted. Thank you. And on the performance bond in the matter of number 1156 map of open meadow, I move that we approve the performance bond estimate as recommended by the planning department. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. So approved and adopted. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. And now. Uh, we want to do the adoption, adoption, adoption of minutes. minutes. Anybody want to make a motion on that? There's three. Make a motion we adopt January 8th, January 22nd, February 5th, uh, plan of board meetings. Minute, minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. So adopted. And a motion to adjourn? Motion adjourn. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>